Have you ever wondered how the wealthy manage to accumulate their riches and keep them growing? Well, the secret is often not about how much you earn, but how you manage what you earn. In this video, I will share eight money rules the rich follow but keep to themselves. These rules are the bedrock of their financial success, and with some know-how, you can apply them too. These principles are not about tricks or shortcuts, but are grounded in understanding how money works and leveraging it wisely. So suppose you're tired of running the rat race, feeling like you're always chasing money without ever getting ahead, or want to take control of your financial destiny. In that case, you're in the right place. Get ready to lift the veil and uncover the secret money rules that could transform your financial life. As Warren Buffett once said, rules for success. Don't just dream about being rich, learn how to do it. So let's dive into these powerful strategies and unlock the keys to financial freedom. Rule number one, the close your eyes rule. Have you ever been tempted to buy something you didn't need just because it caught your eye? That's the allure of impulse buying, and it's a trap that can quickly lead to financial instability. Wealthy individuals have mastered the art of resisting these temptations. I like to call this the close your eyes rule. It's human nature to increase your spending as your income increases, but this results in something called lifestyle inflation. Whenever you're faced with an impulse purchase, close your eyes and ask yourself, do I really need this? Or is this just something I want? The rich recognize a stark difference between needs and wants. They make buying decisions based on absolute necessity rather than momentary desire. Now, this doesn't mean you should never indulge in your desires, but it's crucial to have a balanced approach to spending. As billionaire investor Warren Buffett says, if you buy things you don't need, soon you will have to sell things you need. So practice the close your eyes rule. Take a moment to differentiate between your needs and wants and make thoughtful spending decisions. This simple practice can make a world of difference in your financial well-being. Rule number two, the credit rule. One of the biggest misconceptions about the rich is that they never go into debt. In reality, wealthy individuals often use debt strategically as a tool to increase their wealth. But here's the catch. Not all debt is created equal. Understanding the difference between good debt and bad debt is crucial. Good debt. Or when you can use a good debt to pay off a bad debt, that's a huge win. And that's how rich people use debt to their advantage to become even more wealthy. Bad debt is typically associated with buying things that quickly lose value and do not generate income. Think of credit card debt from buying the latest gadgets or designer clothes. These items might bring temporary happiness, but they don't contribute to your long-term financial growth. They can lead to a cycle of ever-increasing debt. Good debt, on the other hand, is an investment that will grow in value or generate long-term income. For example, a mortgage to buy a rental property or a loan to start a business can be considered good debt. These are assets that offer a return on investment over time. As billionaire Robert Kiyosaki says, the rich use debt to leverage investments and grow cash flows. Poor people use debt to buy things that make rich people richer. The key takeaway is this, be cautious with debt. Avoid consumer debt that doesn't bring you any financial benefits. Instead, if you're going to borrow money, make sure it's for investments that can increase your wealth. This is what the rich do, and it's a strategy you can use to build your financial future. Rule three, the hard and smart rule. Many have been told that working hard is the key to financial success. But the truth is, working smart is equally important, if not more so. The wealthiest individuals understand that you can't achieve great financial success by working hard alone. You must leverage resources, time, and other people's skills to maximize your earning potential. Think of it this way. If you're a hard worker, you might be able to handle 10 tasks a day. But if you're an intelligent worker, you can delegate five tasks to others, allowing you to focus on the five most critical tasks only you can do. This strategy lets you concentrate on activities that generate the most wealth 
while ensuring everything else gets done. Let's take the example of Richard Branson, the founder of Virgin Group. He's known for his delegation skills. Branson believes that once you have a great team in place, you should step back and let them do their jobs. I know nothing about technology. I know nothing about management. I know nothing about, but the only thing is that you don't have to know a lot of things. You have to find the people who are smart than you are. For so many years, I always try to find the people who are smart than I am. This approach has enabled him to oversee a global empire of more than 400 companies. Another example is billionaire Warren Buffett, who spends most of his time reading and learning. He delegates his company's operations, Berkshire Hathaway, to a team of skilled managers. This allows him to focus on investing, his main wealth building activity. I just read and read and read. I probably read five to six hours a day. I don't read as The lesson here is clear. Number one, don't just work hard, work smart. Number two, learn to delegate, prioritize, and leverage resources effectively. And number three, recognize the tasks only you can do and those that can be handed off to others. This approach will free up your time and energy to focus on the most critical wealth generating activities, helping you achieve tremendous financial success. Rule number four, the time rule. Time, as they say, is money. But it's more than just a saying. It's a fundamental principle the wealthy understands. They know that time is our most valuable asset because it's non-renewable. Once it's gone, it's gone forever. You're making a terrible mistake if you stay out of a game that you think is going to be very good over time because you think you can pick a better time to enter it. So how you manage your time can make a significant difference in your wealth building journey. The first mistake many people make is trading time for money directly, like working for an hourly wage. The problem with this approach is that it inherently limits your earning potential, as there are only so many hours in a day. But the rich understand that you need to break free from this constraint to truly build wealth. How do you do that? By delegating tasks that don't align with your goals or aren't the best use of your time. This might mean hiring someone to handle your accounting, scheduling, or other administrative tasks so that you can focus on activities that bring in more money and move you closer to your financial goals. Take the example of Bill Gates, one of the wealthiest people in the world. In the early days of Microsoft, he realized he needed to step back from writing code to focus on building the business. By delegating coding tasks to his team, Gates could concentrate on strategic decisions that would eventually make Microsoft a global powerhouse. Another critical aspect of the time roll is investing in long-term assets. The rich know that wealth building is a marathon, not a sprint. They put their money into investments that will grow over time, even if the returns aren't immediate. This patient approach allows them to benefit from the power of compound interest which can significantly boost their wealth over the long term. The time rule is about recognizing the value of your time and using it wisely. Break free from the constraints of trading time for money directly. Delegate tasks that don't align with your goals and invest in long-term assets. These strategies will help you maximize your time and pave the way for greater financial success. Rule number five the long-term rule. When it comes to financial success, one of the most essential distinctions between the rich and others is the ability to think long-term. The wealthy understand that the path to financial freedom is built over time. It requires careful planning, dedication, and a long-term mindset. While focusing on immediate needs and short-term pleasures might be tempting, the rich know that real wealth is built by keeping an eye on the future. One example of this principle in action is retirement planning. While many people might rely solely on government pensions or employer-sponsored retirement plans, the wealthy take control of their financial destiny. They recognize that more than government support might be needed to maintain their desired lifestyle in retirement so they take proactive steps to save and invest for their future. I, I know what markets are going to do over a long period of time. They're going to go up. But in terms of 
what's going to happen in a day or a week or a month or a year even. I never felt that I knew it and I never felt it was important. I, I, I will say that in 10 or 20 or 30 years, I think stocks will be a lot higher than they are now. Warren Buffett, one of the world's most successful investors, once said, someone is sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. This quote perfectly encapsulates the essence of long-term thinking. By planting the seeds of financial success now, you can reap the rewards in the future. Taking control of your financial destiny also means avoiding short-term temptations, derailing your long-term plans. For instance, instead of splurging on a luxurious vacation or an expensive car, the rich might invest that money in assets that can generate passive income or appreciate over time. This approach helps them grow their wealth and secure their financial future. The long-term rule prioritizes your future over short-term pleasures. Take control of your financial destiny by planning for the long-term, investing wisely, and avoiding temptations that hinder your progress. By adopting this mindset, you can build lasting wealth and enjoy financial freedom in the future. Rule number six, the buying power rule. If there's one thing the wealthy know that others often overlook, is the importance of protecting their buying power. You may have heard the saying, a penny saved is a penny earned. However, more than saving money in a bank account or under the mattress is needed to protect your wealth. Why? Well, the answer is inflation. Inflation is the gradual increase in the cost of goods and services over time, which can erode your savings value. As prices rise, the purchasing power of your money decreases. Without it, inflation is eight and a half percent and they receive virtually no interest rate in cash. And That's so there terrible. was an eight and a half percent loss of buying power as a result of inflation. The rich understand this concept well and take steps to counteract the effects of inflation. Rather than just saving their money, they invest it. Investing is one of the most effective ways to preserve and grow your buying power over time. You can earn returns that outpace inflation by putting your money to work in assets such as stocks, bonds, or real estate. It's important to note that all investments come with risks and profits are not guaranteed. However, the potential for higher returns is often worth the risk for those looking to protect their wealth from inflation. The key is to have a well-diversified investment portfolio that suits your risk tolerance and financial goals. A quote from billionaire investor Warren Buffett illustrates this. Do not save what is left after spending, but spend what is left after saving. This quote highlights the importance of prioritizing saving and investing before spending money on non-essentials. Of course, it's essential to have an emergency fund for unexpected expenses. Still, it's crucial to recognize that savings alone won't lead to financial freedom. Investing wisely can protect your buying power, grow your wealth, and work towards achieving your financial goals. The buying power rule teaches us that investing is crucial to building and protecting wealth. Be mindful of the effects of inflation on your savings and consider investing to counteract its impact. By doing so, you'll be following in the footsteps of the wealthy and making strides toward financial freedom. Rule number seven, the pay yourself first rule. One of the most potent money rules the wealthy live by is paying yourself first. This rule might sound simple, but it's a game changer when building wealth and securing your financial future. So what does it mean to pay yourself first? Well, paying yourself first means setting aside a portion of your income for savings and investments before spending money on anything else. This includes expenses like bills, groceries, and even discretionary spending. It's about treating yourself as the most crucial creditor and prioritizing your financial future above all else. To establish and grow your financial capital, your nest egg, you must divert a percentage of your income to savings first. It has to be the top priority. Wealthy individuals understand the importance of disciplined saving and investing. 
They know that by consistently putting money aside, they can grow their wealth over time and achieve financial independence. This approach helps them accumulate assets, generate passive income, and ultimately reduce their reliance on earned income. Here's a quote from the renowned personal finance author Robert Kiyosaki that underscores the importance of this rule. It's not how much money you make, but how much money you keep, how hard it works for you, and how many generations you keep it for. So how can you implement the pay yourself first rule in your life? Start by setting a specific percentage of your income that you'll allocate to savings and investments. Whether 10%, 20%, or more, the key is to be consistent and stick to your plan. Automate the process by setting up direct transfers from your paycheck to your savings or investment accounts. This way, you won't be tempted to spend the money elsewhere. It's essential to note that paying yourself first doesn't mean neglecting your obligations. You should still cover your necessary expenses and pay off any debts. However, by prioritizing your savings and investments, you'll take a significant step toward achieving financial freedom. The Pay Yourself First rule is a powerful strategy that the wealthy use to build and preserve their wealth. By prioritizing your savings and investments, you'll take control of your financial future and set yourself up for long-term success. Remember, it's not just about how much you earn, but how much you keep and how effectively you put it to work. Rule number eight, the multiple income rule. The wealthy have a secret that helps them build and maintain their fortunes. They don't rely on a single source of income. Instead, they diversify their income streams, spreading the risk and maximizing their earning potential. This is known as the multiple income rule, and it's a crucial strategy for achieving financial security and independence. Many people depend solely on their nine to five job for income, leaving them vulnerable to job loss, pay cuts, or economic downturns. This one source approach limits their potential earnings and exposes them to higher financial risk. The best thing with stocks actually is to buy them consistently over time. You want to spread the risk as far as the specific companies you're in by owning a diversified group and you diversify over time by buying this month, next month, the year after the year. On the other hand, the rich recognize the importance of having multiple income sources which provides them with a safety net and allows them to capitalize on various opportunities. There are several ways to diversify your income. Number one, invest in stocks. One of the most popular ways to create an additional income stream is by investing in the stock market. By purchasing shares of companies, you can earn dividends or sell the stocks at a higher price for a profit. Number two, real estate investment. Another lucrative option is real estate investment. Whether renting out properties for a steady income or buying and selling properties for a profit, real estate can provide a substantial additional income stream. Number three, create a side business. If you have a passion or a skill that could be turned into a business, consider starting a side hustle. Whether it's freelance writing, graphic design, or selling handmade crafts, a side business can provide extra income and even become a full-time venture. Number four, peer-to-peer -peer lending. Another option is peer-to-peer -peer lending, where you can lend money to individuals or small businesses online in return for interest payments. Number five, invest in bonds. Bonds are another investment option providing a steady income stream through interest payments. Number six, write a book, or create online courses. If you have expertise in a particular field, consider writing a book or creating online courses. You can earn royalties or fees from your content, creating a passive income stream. Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors of all time, once said, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. The multiple income rule embodies this philosophy helping you build wealth, minimize financial risks, and enjoy greater financial freedom. The multiple income rule is a vital strategy that the wealthy use to protect their finances and maximize their earning potential. By diversifying your income streams, you can reduce your financial risk, increase your profits, and pave the way for long-term financial success. So in this video, we've covered eight money rules that the wealthy live by. 
Number one, avoid unnecessary spending. Number two, use debt wisely to build wealth. Number three, combine hard work with smart choices. Number four, make efficient use of your time. Number five, prioritize long-term financial planning. Number six, invest to counteract inflation. Number seven, save and invest before spending. And number eight, diversify your income sources. Adopting these principles can set you on a path to financial success. It's not just about accumulating wealth, it's about achieving freedom, security, and living life on your terms. Remember, building wealth is a marathon, not a sprint. Stay disciplined and make informed decisions to reach your financial goals. So if you found this information valuable, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more insights. Embrace these money rules and start your journey toward financial success today.